This is the fourth section of chapter two on measures of location and spread. And this section is on variance and standard deviation. So variance and standard deviation are measures of spread. And they can be used to compare the spread of two sets of data. So how do we calculate these? Well, the variance, and we use this symbol, sigma, Greek letter sigma squared. This is lowercase sigma. And the calculation is the sum of all our data squared. So we square our data, then we find the total of that. We divide by the number of data items we've got. And then we subtract this. Now this is basically the mean squared. Sum of X over N is the mean. So you find the mean and you square it. Now, if we're using a table and we've got frequency table here, then we just add in F where we didn't have it before. So the sum of the frequency times the data squared over the sum of the frequency. And then again, here minus the mean, that bit there in the brackets is the mean squared. Now, some people use this little phrase here to help them remember it. So it's the mean of the squares. So we're finding the mean of these numbers squared minus the square of the mean, so the mean squared. Now the standard deviation, well, that's just the positive square root of the variance. So if we just take this formula here and work out the square root, we've got the standard deviation. Same here, if we just take this, take the positive square root, and use this when we've got tables, that will give us the standard deviation. Example seven, the marks gained in a test by seven randomly selected students are three, four, six, two, eight, eight, and five. Find the variance and standard deviation of the marks of the seven students. Okay, so here's our formula. We just need to work out different parts. So the sum of the numbers squared. So the sum of each of the values squared. So that's gonna be three squared plus four squared plus six squared plus two squared plus eight squared plus eight squared plus five squared. So that gives us the sum of all of these numbers squared as 218. Now, N is just a number of values. Um, sevenly selected the randomly students. So N is seven. Now, what else do we need? We need the sum of X. So just the sum of the values. So three plus four plus six plus two plus eight plus eight plus five. And that is 36. So now we can just put everything into the formula. The variance is the sum of X squared 218 over N seven minus the mean, which is 36 over seven squared. Now that gives us exactly 230 over 49. Um, press the SD button, we get 4.6938. So I'm gonna give my variance to three significant figures. So that'd be 4.69. Now there are no units for the variance of standard deviation. And then for the standard deviation, you could just write SD standard deviation. It's going to be the positive square root of that. So if I do that square root, I get 2.1665 and it carries on again to three significant figures, 2.17. So always state how much you, you're rounding it to. Example eight, Shamsa recalls the time spent out of school during the lunch hour to the nearest minute, X, of the female students in her, here, in, in her year. The results are shown in the table, calculate the standard deviation of the time spent out of school. Right, so here's our formula. So we're gonna go through and work out each of these bits. Let's start with the sum of the frequencies times the value squared. So basically, we take the time and we square it and we multiply it by the frequency. So you're gonna three times 35 squared plus 17 times 36 squared plus 29 times 37 squared plus 34 times by 38 squared. 
that comes up to 114,504. So we've worked this out. Let's carry on. Let's work out the sum of F. So the sum of the frequency is just 3 plus 17 plus 29 plus 34. That's 83. And there's only other one, one other thing we need. And the sum of Fx. So the sum of Fx. So that's 3 times by 35 plus 17 times 36 plus 29 times 37 plus 34 times 38. So change that to a plus. And that gives 3082. So now we can find our standard deviation. We can just plug all of these numbers into the formula. So it's going to be the square root of, so a nice big square root sign, the sum of fx squared, which is 1145504, having issues pronouncing words. So that's 1145504 over the sum of f, which is 83, minus, so we're going to minus now, the mean squared and the mean is sum of fx 3082 over the sum of f 83 and then we need to square all of that. Now all of that we can type in on our calculator so I get 0 0.86108 like that. I'll round that to three significant figures so I'll go 0 0.8 six one again no units and that's to three significant figures example nine andy recorded the length in minutes of each telephone call he made for a month the data is summarized in the ta table below we want to calculate the standard deviation of the length of phone calls so here we've got groups data so we're going to need the midpoint for um x when we do the calculation. Right, so here's our formula again. Here's our midpoints. You can see that this is actually going to be quite a bit of working that we need to do. So you might want to put it in a table, but quite often in this question or questions like this, they will give you the sum of fx squared and they'll give you the sum of fx. So let's start with the sum of fx squared. So the sum of each frequency times by in this case, the midpoint squared, so 4 times 2.5 squared plus 15 times 7.5 squared plus 5 times by 12.5 squared plus 2 times by 17.5 squared. I'm going to have to go into the second line. Plus 0 times by 40 squared plus 1 times by 65 squared. Working that out on our calculator, we get 6,487.5. Right, next thing we need is the sum of frequencies, sum of F, that's going to go here and here. So that is just 4 plus 15 plus 5 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1. So we'll get the sum of F as 27 once we add those up. And then lastly, we want the sum of fx, so just the frequencies times by the data or the midpoints of 4 times 2.5 plus 15 times 7.5 plus 5 times 12.5 plus 2 times by 17.5 plus 0 times 40 plus 1 times by 65. Then we can work that out on our calculator and we get 285. So now we're ready to put all of the values into the formula. So it's going to be the square root of, hopefully the square root sign is big enough, uh, sum of fx squared 6487.5 over the sum of f 27 minus the mean squared and the mean is going to be 285 over 27. And that's going to be squared. So putting a whole lot on our calculator, we get 11.35156, like that. Again, three significant figures. So 
point for let me just put three significant figures here for our answer so there's the standard deviation if you want when you do this type of calculation you can write down intermediate bits of your calculation so for example what you get for this what you get for this but this is the important part working out these values and showing that you've got them in the correct place in the formula so you should now be able to do exercise 2e on pages 32 to 33 of the textbook